So what do you mean by that? What, no that's way. the five points as well? The five, five points Europe, is a, uh, US, ah. England, This is the Madan de Rome. This is the right. Madan de Rome. Yeah. Right. And, and, and you look at the architecture. Yeah, you can see the architecture, they take it off of Rome. You're right. Right. You're right. Right. Me and Rome all over. Here. Okay. Right. And this is what's going to happen to, um, to Rome. Because the Lord said that this kingdom is going to be destroyed. So this is the book of Daniel, chapter 7. Verse 17. It says, These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall rise out of the earth. Right? So there's four kingdoms. But the saints of the Most High shall take the king. So for, so for this kingdom to go down, the Lord sends his people to have to take the kingdom down. That's why you got all this racial stuff brewing up. Yeah, yeah. Because our people, we're the Israelites, we're the Lord's saints. Okay, it's going to start as a spark here and a spark there. And then it's going to be full scale riots in America. It's going to yeah. be white versus black. All of that is not for no reason. Yeah, yeah, that tension is not there for no reason. Yeah. Okay. But then they say something about, about as far as getting the people out of your land and country and all this stuff. I, I forgot why I read that. I think it was. So you had black star line and you had the guy ship that ready to see it. Right, yeah. right. It'll be a white and black. A racial thing. A racial war. Racial war. If you read all this stuff, read all this stuff. It's all okay. been told for okay. so the whole what, life. What chapter does he? I ain't, I ain't read it. Well, I'm, I'm reading it now. He gonna read, read it to you right there. Okay. Appreciate the information, no education. No problem. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, the book of man. Daniel. All right. No problem, bro. This is uh, Daniel chapter seven, verse seventeen. It says, "These great beasts." which are four, are four kings or kingdoms, okay? Now, you remember going to school and learning about Greece and ancient Greece and all of that, right? Well, that's talking about, that's what the Bible's talking about. Like ancient Rome and Italy and all of that, that's what the Bible's talking about. The Bible said that those kingdoms were going to come up, that we learn about, okay? But this is what's going to happen, okay, including America. It says, we shall arise out of the earth, but the saints are the most high, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which make up, which make up the twelve tribes of Israel. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So, once, so as America falls, our people's gonna rise up. Okay. All right. The main way that we're supposed to wake up is spiritually. That's why this knowledge comes out. Okay. Come on. All right, that's why this knowledge comes out. That's why I can come out here and, and tell the white man he's a devil now. Because it's time for him to go down. It's time for us to rise up. But eventually, it's going to get physical. Okay? That's why the things that happen on the news, that's prophecy. Meaning, th those are things that were spoken about before in the Bible. Okay? All right? Everything that's going on now was already talked about. But most people don't know it. So the Lord had to send his prophets to come out here and teach it and bring it up, okay? So you'll know, all right? But well, that's what's going on, okay? That's what's going on, okay? Our people's gonna rise up and we're gonna take this kingdom down, okay? All right? And that's the truth. All of this is the truth. You 
Okay, hide it. Oh, nothing like that. What's up, dude? Can I get a hug? Am I allowed to hug you while you doing this? No, not right now. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna let you get your preaching on there. All right now. All right, boy. Well. All right. Hey, look, the only way you gonna rise up is to okay. keep this commandment and the judgment. Right. That's 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 how everybody gotta do that. Right, that's right. We gotta keep his commandments and we gotta keep his judgment. Okay? Right. And when we start keeping the commandments and judgment, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Okay? I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Once we start keeping it, no. what's no. the land of milk and honey? No. No. Right, no. Land of, now what's the land of milk and honey? No. You know what the name of it is? No. Now look, now you see, no. he think he's the flash, right? Turn around real quick, brother. So you watch it, they think they superheroes. They're not superheroes. We don't want superheroes. Okay, they walk around, they wear costumes. Cause they really want to be us. They want to be fast. They want to be strong. But the Lord's gonna give us the power to take them down. Cause they got guns in there. And they got military and all of that. Okay? They got guns, they got military. Alright? We can't take them down. So God gotta military, give us so power. Huh? He wants want military soldiers. Right, where we are, we are, he's raising up soldiers. But but to be a soldier, you gotta learn the knowledge first. When you get the knowledge, and you start doing the executing, then the Lord can work with you and start letting you perform what's going on. No, you gotta seek him, and he'll give you knowledge. That, right, exactly. Right, right. You gotta seek God right, first. Seek him, right. Now how do you, now how does God give you knowledge? You know? Wisdom, knowledge, I mean... But how does he give it to you? God would be like, I want to give you knowledge. Bro. How would he give it to you? He would ask for it, I guess. Right, he would ask you. Okay, right. But let's say, well, I'm going to read it for you, okay? I'm going to show you how God gives you knowledge. All right? I would say through obedience, keeping his commandments. Right, 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 right. But somebody has to tell you that, though, right? Ultimately, somebody must tell you, and then you must act it out, right? I'm going to show you. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. Surely, the Lord God will do nothing, but he will build his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So a prophet must reveal the Lord's secrets to you, tell you what he needs you to do, okay? Right? Yeah. I'm gonna read another scripture. This is Romans, chapter 10, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Nobody's heard about, you heard about this, but you didn't really hear Nobody's heard about this man here. Who that? Okay, the real Lord, the, the, who the world called Jesus Christ. That's his real name. Right, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So in order for you to believe on Yahweh Shai, you must hear about Yahweh Shai. Okay? And you must believe on him. I'm going to show you how. It says, and how shall they hear without a preacher? But somebody must tell you about Yahweh Shai. Somebody must tell you about the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, because you know him as God, Jesus Christ, but that's but you got to know the, the the real actual names in the Hebrew. Okay, so you can get that power up, so they can. Okay, he's coming. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Like if your name is John, I can't just call you Billy. I got to call you John. All right. So you got to call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is, so in order for me to come out here, the Lord had to have sent me. Okay? To come out here. I, you know, because I wouldn't be out here for no reason. He led you to come out here. Right. The Lord led me to come out here. Okay? It says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Cause I'm, cause I'm giving, I'm, what I'm, 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 I'm bringing peace. I'm bringing peace to our people, not to the whole world, but just to us. Because we're a peaceful people. But right now, we're killing one another. We're giving each other drugs. We're, 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 we're fighting amongst each other. Okay, men and the women don't get along. All right. So in order to bring that peace, you must learn about the heavenly Father and His Son. The truth about the heavenly Father and His Son. Okay. It starts. Keeping the commandments, right? Like you said, right? Okay. 
because that's where I'm paralyzed. In order for the, the, uh, the Heavenly Father to do for us, in order for Him to do for us, we have to do for Him, okay? So this is the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So if you truly love the Heavenly Father and the Son, you'll keep the commandments. Okay? That's how you... Uh, Which are you know the commandments? Hmm? You know the commandments? Yes, I guess I know the commandments. What's up? A man's supposed to grow a beard on his face. Okay? That's how you... That's how the Lord created man. Right? A woman is supposed to wear a dress. But this society doesn't teach them that. Okay? Alright? Nothing. Not supposed to eat pork. Okay? No pork. No shellfish, no shrimp, okay, no crab. Can't not supposed to do none of that. Can't lie, steal. Right, can't lie, can't steal, can't do none of that. Okay? None of it at all. Alright? We're supposed to be keeping the Lord's commandments and doing what He told us to do. Alright? Okay? So that's part of loving the Lord. So if you love the Lord, we stop doing drugs. You'll stop uh, uh, smoking cigarettes, okay? Because you got to keep yourself clean, right? Now you can drink, but you don't be out here getting drunk and walking up and down the street. Yeah, I read that they messed up. Yeah, you can drink. Yeah, you, you can drink. Because think about it. When you, when you, when you, and the condition now people is in, you don't want to drink or two, right? But you don't walk up and down the street drunk all day, okay? Back in the pool, all right? Well, when you at home and, and when you want to come, when you take a drink and it'll calm you down. Okay. All right? That's why I ain't even drunk, because I ain't even know if I should, if I could. That's why. You got your name on Right, you don't want to. 
Okay. Right. 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 Right.